Ah, <clears throat> what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga. Coming at y'all with another episode of Drop It Downs, Mr. Duga. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, man. And today I'm going to talk about the Miami Heat um, season finale. Mostly I'm going to talk about Udonis Haslam, who dropped 24 points today off the bench. Um, and yeah, it's official, man. Tuesday night, Heat versus Hawks. Playing game for the seventh seed and the right to take on the Boston Celtics. I'm going to look ahead to that matchup. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, um, I'll get back at you. Come holla at you, boy. Also, if you a Madden play on Xbox One, I'll have my Xbox One gamer tag in the description box also. <laughs> you done this Haslam with 24 points, man. Come on, bro. You done this Haslam hit six three-pointers in his whole career before the day. Today, he hit three. He hit half of that. He still got up there, dunked the basketball, took charges. 24 points. I mean, what can you say? Look, honestly, I've been somebody who's been very critical of the whole Udonis Haslam celebration thing. Look, he was our starting power forward in 06 when we beat the Dallas Mavericks. He got, he was the one um, mostly responsible for guarding Dirk Nowitzki. Um, and, you know, our two championships with the big three, you know, he, he played vital parts um, coming off the bench and sometimes starting, hit that little mid-range jump when he shot it over his head, and it it was it was effective. It went in. Um, so, look, and obviously he's been with us the whole 20 years. He's from my, uh, from Florida, the state of Florida, so I get it. He's heat culture through in and throughout, and from what I hear was none of us are there, that he's a vital part of the team in practices and behind the scenes and all the other stuff, and we all seen the little situation with Jimmy Butler last year. But sometimes I feel like it's a bit much. <laughs> like like today, it's like, come on, dude. Like, you know, it, it's a bit much. But I get it. It is officially his last home regular season game. And other people around the league probably rolling their eyes. But for us, he means a lot, man. Even at the end when they when Spo pulled him, you see in Alonzo Morning, Pat Riley, um, you know, a lot of people that's well respected in the Miami Heat organization giving him a standing ovation. Look, if they love it, I like it. Whatever. <laughs> you know, but he had 24 points. And for somebody at his age, that was pretty impressive today. Um, but now to the business of everything, man. The Miami Heat are the seventh seed, uh, well, battling for the seventh seed um, against the Atlanta Hawks at home on Tuesday night. Look, Heat have had a disappointing season. Um, it's been disappointing. Um, you know, coming away, a uh, three point shot away from making the NBA Finals. To be the, to turn on and have to play in the play where we were the number one seed in the Eastern Conference last year is disappointing. But we playing good basketball at the right time. Um, we're gonna be relatively healthy, you know. With Jimmy, you know, Jimmy Butler turns it on in the playoffs. Bam is having a really good year. Let's see if he keeps this aggression going into the playoffs. And we all know, we all know Tyler Hero could put the ball in the basket. And Lowry brings the veteran presence, Kevin Love, you know, um, Victor Oladipo off the bench. We're going to see what happens, yo. Uh, we do match up well with Atlanta. We beat them three out of the four games this season, including the two games in Miami. Um, we beat them last year in the first round in five games. Uh, Trey Young, we kind of his kryptonite, yo. Trey Young, we kind of have a nice defensive philosophy whenever we go up against a Trey Young now. This time around, unlike last year, he got a sidekick. Like Deontay, uh, Deontay Murray, um, a guy who's been an all-star, he's a guy, he's a very capable player. So, um, you know, it's going to be electric in the building Tuesday. Um, you know, it's for the seventh seed. I think we get it done because I just think we're a little bit of a better team than them. I think we have a little more stability um, all around. But, you know, the thing is, if we do if we do lose, it, it will suck. Now, we do get another opportunity against Toronto and Chicago's winner at home. But you want to go out there and win and get it over with. Only thing we'll get the Boston Celtics if we win. And with Boston, you know, we had an epic seven-game series last year. They got a little better. They added guys like Michael, uh, Malcolm Brogdon. Um, we pretty much returning the same team. We switched out. 
P.J. Tucker for Kevin Love, pretty much. But before we get to that point, we got to take care of that later Tuesday. And at home, I think we get it done. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Miami Heat, NBA, and content on my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Let's go Heat.